Michelangelo's David is one of the world's most famous statues. It's spectacular. Before the pandemic, 1.7 million tourists a year would visit the Academia Gallery in Florence to see the Renaissance masterpiece up close. Chris Livesay shows us how a team of scientists with 3D technology is taking advantage of the museum's lockdown to study David like never before. Good morning. For five centuries, Michelangelo has left us awestruck for his sculptural precision of the human form. And try as they might, artists have left us countless copies like this one, albeit never with laser precision like today. Flash photography at a museum can get you some dirty looks. But these cameras are different. This one is a, a laser scanner uh, combined with a laser tracker. Inside Florence's Academia Museum, Professor Grazia Tucci and her team are measuring all 14 feet of Michelangelo's David from head to toe with tools normally used to design high-tech jet engines. This time, they're designing high-tech replicas. We are producing a digital twin first. And this will be useful for the scientists, for the researchers, for the monitoring in the future. Microscopic 3D data that can be studied on your desktop in unrivaled detail. When you get up close, you can see every little detail, the hand of Michelangelo himself, something you normally have to do in person, but with a digital twin, you won't have to. They're also making a physical twin. The next step is to feed the data into a colossal 3D printer, then glaze the synthetic copy in marble powder. The final product will star at the Italy Pavilion of the World Fair in Dubai this October, says Academia Director Cecilia Holberg. Now, if this is perfection, how good can a copy really be? Even the best copy is still a copy, and that's the reason why millions of people come every year. Most copies, of course, are a dime a dozen, some more profane than sacred. He's the biblical hero, after all, who slayed Goliath. Michelangelo took two years to carve his David out of marble, finishing in 1504 and giving birth to the most famous sculpture of the Renaissance. Originally placed outside in the center of Florence as a symbol of strength, he was moved to the Academia Museum in 1873, where he's lived ever since. And while the statue that will emerge from the 3D printer may not possess the soul of the original, it just might help us see it more clearly. And David's digital twin should be ready by this spring. And it could become priceless should anything ever happen to the original. Scientists warn that its ankles are cracked, and if it ever got any sudden stress, it could topple completely. For CBS This Morning, Chris Livesay, Florence. Wow. Technology's amazing. I know. Right? I, I love that Chris the says the, the soul of Michelangelo mm -hmm. and mm. David, because it really is a soul. When you are up close and seeing it for the first time, it t takes your breath away. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen it? You know I haven't seen it. All right. How are you doing? <laughs> When's your we'll, birthday we'll coming you. up? When's she's, your birthday she's in coming August. up? When's hey, your let's, birthday let's coming up? Girls trip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that this year. You, you know what, Vlad? I love I got you. <laughs>